Welcome Aries to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon, intuition reading messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Cross watcher, if you're the ones who is watching this, then it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and the holy angels, the nice and greatest good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right, Aries. So let's go ahead and get into your reading for the month of October and see who is coming towards you in love. All right. Spirit, what is the energy or vibration of the person that is connected to Aries in love? Who is this person that is coming through in regards to Aries for the month of October? What does Aries need to know about their love interest that is coming towards them in the month of October? Thank you, Spirit. What can you reveal to me about this person's energy? All right. So we have, you deserve love, you are lovable, and we have separation. It actually came up in reverse. So if you guys have been in separation with your romantic interest, okay, your person is going to be communicating to you in October, and um, I feel like you guys are going to have some sort of conversation that you deserve love. Now, we're going to figure out uh, what does your person mean, okay? So let's see. Spirit, please clarify separation. Why is separation here in regards to Aries' love interest? Okay, we have a wife and they're possibly letting go of the wife. Let's see. Is there anything else? Now, if your person isn't married, it could be someone that they're dating and they're getting out of that relationship with that person. Let's see. Anything else? We have neglect or abandonment. Um, now, it actually came out kind of neutral. Now, they're not really neglecting or abandoning this wife, okay? But I really feel like they're going to get out of this separation, okay? Because they have released and let go of whoever this person is. So they could be telling you something is actually going on with them and some other relationship. Now, please reveal to me or clarify, you deserve love. Why is you deserve love here? Okay, we have blocked an announcement. Okay, so I have a feeling like if you've been blocked, um, they are ready to come through. Something must have happened where your person is now able to speak to you, especially if there was a situation where you guys were in separation before. Let's see, is there anything else that wants to show through? We have union and it's in reverse. So I have a feeling like your person's going to tell you like, you know, um, they are not like dealing with the spouse person. They're still dealing with them, but um, they want to let you know that you know, you do deserve love. So I really feel like your person really wants you to take care of yourself and practice self-love and self-care. They can't really be with you in union yet, but that doesn't mean never, okay? I, I just really feel like it's like a matter of fact type situation, but they're actually going through a situation where they can't offer this to you now, but maybe at a later time, okay? So let's go ahead and see. You know, and I really feel like this is for those Aries who have been in that period of separation where you haven't really heard from them, okay, recently. 
So, uh, Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the overall energy of this person uh, connected to Aries? And Aries, what is your energy towards this individual? How do you guys currently think of one another? How do you feel? What is it that you both want and what is the outcome? All right, let's see. So I see her a queen of cups and it's in reverse. So they're feeling really insecure. You know, they know that they're in a codependent relationship. I really feel like this is the wife and they know the wife is needy. Okay. Now, again, they are kind of in, in neutral. Okay. About neglecting or abandoning the wife. Maybe the wife has a point. Maybe your person was acting like that towards them. Maybe, you know, the wife has resentment towards you if the wife knows about you. Okay. And that's for some of my Aries. Um, they know that whoever that they're dealing with, they need them. They're in that kind of relationship. Okay. So, I have a feeling like your person doesn't want to completely cut off the karmic cold turkey, you know, because um, they are kind of guilt tripping them, so to speak. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing is that, you know, your person's being sneaky. I see here the seven of swords, you know, yeah, they're cheating. They're between you and the karmic. And I feel like now, um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I have a feeling like your person is just thinking about themselves. Okay, so it feels almost selfish, you know, with the world card. Now they're feeling like, you know, they have everything. Um, they feel complete. I really feel that. I don't know. I, I don't know why this is showing up here, but maybe they're ending this cycle. Okay, this person, they get bored pretty fast and maybe they're just lazy and working on letting go of this karmic, you know, and I see that they know the need to let go, but I really feel that, you know, they have doubt. They have doubt and I really feel that Maybe they were blaming themselves. Maybe they're blaming the karmic. I don't feel like this has something to do with you. They, there's definitely something going on with your person and the karmic. I feel like they've gotten through some sort of fight. That's what it feels like. You know, um, they want to get out of the separation. You guys have already been um, kind of in separation, but they're actually separating from a karmic partner. And they're going through this right now. So the energy in October is not so much about you, but I really feel like it's about them dealing with the karmic. But I'm going to tell you this. Uh, there's trouble in paradise over there because there's a bunch of obstacles and they're not working on it. Okay. I really feel like your person wants to end it, but they're not being completely honest. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> Now, I see that this is your card here, but this is their energy. You know, they're coming off as being controlling and they're very rigid, okay? They're conflicted because of all the situations that are surrounding your person and they need time to really reflect. They know they need to let go of the situation so they can make plans. So they could either travel towards you or make a, de a decision or a direction to go forward towards you. But right now they're feeling vulnerable and they don't feel like they're good enough. Now for some, you're done with another fire sign. Okay, they're actually loyal to a T from I can feel. They're honest. They wanna tell you that um, they're all about success, recognition, you know, Maybe they were selfish and they're, they're just stuck in the past. And I feel like, you know, they were just running away from fixing the situation. They felt stuck. Okay. And that's why they're kind of guarded or they're going to explain to you the reasons why, you know, they kind of kept themselves blocked from you. I really feel like it's because this person knows that you deserve better. They know they haven't treated you in the best. And it could have been like where there could have been a karmic partner that they were dealing with. 
So why would you stick around for this person when they're actually stuck in some other situation? And I can hear it already. It's because you love them. You know, if, if it wasn't for love, then you wouldn't be sticking around. You know, you, you'll be on to the next thing. So, yeah, they definitely want reunion. I feel like they keep thinking about the past, but, you know, they don't know if they can have this. But I see that they're making plans. They're going to try to make it happen. Now, this is Page of Pentacles. That is not like a permanent thing, but at least there's some sort of effort, right? They're making a note to themselves. Like, yeah, I need to make this happen. Okay. But I see that they're not putting any effort. So I would be careful. Okay, Aries, if your person comes back and I know that you have a soft spot for this one, they're not in the business of reunion with you. Okay. But they're going to actually come out of the woodworks and they may communicate to you about why they're blocked. But are they coming back for a permanent return? No. Okay. This is a check-in. That That's what this feels like. So let's see. Now, I see that um, they actually would like to return to maybe maybe they're traveling and they feel like they need to um, either travel towards you or just travel somewhere. Maybe they travel for work and that's for some, but I feel like they could be thinking about moving, okay? But they don't know what to do. So your person is kind of stuck and it could be because they have a wife or maybe, you know, they need to figure out where's their secondary house because they're splitting up with a karmic. Now, they're not feeling very balanced and they know that they've been thinking about themselves. Now, this is the other thing I'm also feeling. If your person is married and they're getting out of a situation and they're just deciding to separate from the karmic, I feel like, yeah, they're going to find like a new place, but that doesn't mean that you guys are going to spark a relationship with one another now that they're out of the house. Because I see it, they're not ready for union yet. So I would still be careful. So, I mean, just be mindful if that's your situation. Now, you have a problem with moving on. You're accepting the hurt and you're trying to let things go. But you don't feel very good about this whole energy. It makes you feel on edge. So what is it that you both want? I see that they have hope, okay, that they can renew the situation with you. They're learning from the past and they're healing from it. You regret you had a missed opportunity um, from dealing with this person of the past. You wish things were different. You know, both you guys went through some sort of difficult situation so you guys can be together at least to this point. And it didn't feel good in the end and how this all came about, okay? That is what it feels like. Um, I really feel like this is for twin flames. Now, what is it that you both want? Now, right now, they can't focus. I don't know what it is with your person, but um, they really want to have a family. They know that, you know, being with you is a faded uh, connection, but they've been careless one too many times and they kind of hurt themselves from really working on it, like truly putting the work into having that with you. Now, does that mean that there will never be a situation? No, it's just this is their uh, their wants right now. So as much as they want this family, they know that they just, they don't think things through, okay? Now, for you, you have a lot of fear and anxiety of having this beautiful family with your person. You've been meditating on this, okay? So everything looks good in regards to having connection with one another, but you still don't know, okay? Now, and they all come. Okay, so they're tapping into the higher self and they really see that they have to free themselves in order to be successful in coming forward towards you. And I really feel like with you, you're seeing some uh, sort of clarity and you're trying to align yourself to your values, values and you are freeing yourself from this mental entrapment. So I really feel like in October, once you have this conversation with them, it's both of you guys are going to heal in whatever way that you guys need to. And that's what I'm seeing here so far. So that's actually really good. So, you know, 
as opposed to October being a reunion, it's about fixing or healing yourself because you deserve love. This person is telling you that, you know, you know continue to work on self-love. They're going to try and do the same on their side. And both you guys will meet up, you know, to be with one another in a proper way. But I really feel like your person is going through some situation with a karmic right now. That's what it feels like. Some of them are moving out of the house, you know, um, or there's a situation something like that so let's see what are the love notes spirit what are love messages that want to come through from your person what are the love notes i just heard a song and thought of you so you know they've been listening to some music lately and i'm sorry for making you wait let me make it up to you so again you know, I really feel like your person is returning, but it may not be in your time, right? I'm sorry I left you. I have nothing to say. You know, they have nothing to say. They're really sorry, though, okay? And I know sorry don't cut it, but they are saying that they want to make it up to you if you'll let them. Because I know a lot of people, they're like, no, they can go somewhere, you know? But if you let them, then this person will try to make it up to you, right? That is what I'm seeing. So let's go ahead and see what is the guidance. So spirit, please reveal to me what is the guidance message that you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus at this time. And so if this reading resonated with you, uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And let's see. Spirit, what is uh, the advice? What is the guidance you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It says, Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. If you don't have to, you don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many things were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. And when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership is not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember, though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life. And before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. You know, Aries, you know, just let go of expectations or how this thing's going to play out with your person. And it's going to take a level of patience, right? And I know like my Aries don't like to wait, but if you've been with me for a while and you're on this twin flame journey, okay, because this feels like a twin flame reading, then you already know because you really love them. Otherwise you would have left a long time ago because you wouldn't sit around and wait. You don't have that, you know, uh, capacity to do that. But with this particular person, you just can't shake it off, right? That's what I'm saying. Let universe take care of it, okay? All you have to do is just sit back and see what happens. You don't have to do anything. Just do you, right? That's what I have. So I really hope that that was helpful. Let me know. Thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpionmoonintuition.com. You can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I hope you all enjoyed today's reading. If you're interested in my latest tarot deck, Tarot Visions, you can pre-order your copy on my Etsy shop online or visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This is a 78 card divination deck with upright and reverse interpretations to help you improve your reading skills, but also enhance your intuition with clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairaudience, and more. Copies will be mailed in October of 2022. This is a limited edition deck, so reserve yours while supplies last. 
Also, you can check out my latest book on how you can attract everything you desire using Law of Attraction. It is a manifestation challenge workbook using the 555 method. Check it out on Amazon or through my Etsy shop online. Also, if you're interested in journaling or writing down your dreams, I have a collection of notebooks to help you make plans, take notes, and so much more. Thank you all for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.